Are we ever going to get an increase to social security benefits? That is the question that a lot of people have been asking just recently. And today I want to address that question because one of the things that we do know is that lawmakers are looking at social security as their next big push to really get people to vote for them. So does this mean we are going to see an increase or will nothing happen for the next year? Well, that's what I'm gonna address in today's video. All I ask is one thing, takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And now, let's begin. So right now, everybody wants to see an increase, an increase to social security, because they understand that fixed income households are the ones being hit the hardest. Well, guess what? That has not changed. We do know that prices are potentially gonna go back up because of all these conflicts in the Middle East and in the Red Sea. We also know that products transfer pretty much going through Mexico and through our, our passes. Well, this is a problem because in the railroads, things have been halted. Over the past week, we have seen railroads pretty much be halted for days because the United States had to remove those border agents from the railroad passing, the railroad crossings, in order to process illegal immigrants in other locations. So again, huge issue there, which means we could see additional inflation. The problem there, people on a fixed income are hurt once again. So this video is gonna be very short, just wanted to give you a quick little update regarding social security, but here's what we know. Social Security could see a huge win. If we see the U.S. government do something for border protection, border security, then this could mean additional money, additional funding for Social Security. One of the biggest things that Republicans are fighting for is they want to make sure that we are not just allowing thousands and thousands of immigrants into the United States without going through the proper process and the channels. We can't just allow them in the United States, let them stay here until they are uh, ordered to be in front of a judge. Can't do that. But Democrats say, oh yes, we can. So that's the big fight. But if Democrats can figure out a way to shore up security at the, the southern border, Republicans couldn't say that, oh, well, you know, we would give you this for social security, but we need this in exchange. So here's what I can tell you. As of right now, it is happening. We are seeing uh, the southern border be addressed. Finally, that's good news. So if we can bring people into the United States, let's say people that are seeking asylum, but we now have a better process, technology is better, our system is better, where we can process these people faster, get them a work permit, then those people can go to work. Right now, one of the biggest issues that Social Security is facing is that so many people have left the workforce over the past few years that right now, we are not bringing in the revenue that we once did. So, the reports are indicating that if we can bring in additional tax revenue, and if even if that means we are taxing people that are coming in based off their asylum, well, guess what? That means Social Security is getting more money than they did before. That's good news. And that's a positive sign for the Social Security Trust because then hopefully they do not become insolvent before 2034. That's the worry right now is that some believe Social Security's trust would become insolvent sooner rather than later. So what does this mean for an increase? Well, here's what I can tell you. Right now, there is not going to be a big increase for Social Security over the next 10 years. I just don't see it. Lawmakers don't believe it's going to be there. They don't think they have the support. But here's what is going to happen. In 2034, Social Security benefits will be reduced by about 22%. If they are reduced by 22%, that is going to hurt millions and millions of people. So what lawmakers are currently discussing is let's avoid that. Let's, let's make sure that we shore up Social Security it doesn't become insolvent, and then it's pretty much a 22% boost in benefits. That's where they're discussing this increase. The increase is technically not really an increase, but it is. 
if we see a, a cut by 22%, then anything that is reduced in that cut is an increase. So at this time, what they're saying is it's pretty much just, uh, you know, Biden math that instead of losing 22%, we're actually gonna instead maybe cut 7% because we're gonna increase the full retirement age. So essentially it's a 15% increase. That's the crazy part. But the good news, again, I'm trying to give you some good news here. The good news is that lawmakers are talking. They are discussing different options. Whether this option works or not, don't know. But what we do know is they are talking. That's the best thing. As long as they can keep an uh, open dialogue and they can keep working for, towards a solution, then we could potentially have something that could benefit the American people. So that's what we know at this time regarding Social Security. As soon as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates. But that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.